Most people know that the Beach Boys were formed by the Wilson brothers, cousin Mike Love, and family friend Al Jardim. Now, more than 55 years later, the family tradition continues, with Al's son, Matt Jardim, who began as a vocalist for the Beach Boys and is now touring with Brian Wilson. The world of Buffalo. Glad you could all make it tonight. Glad you could make it here. Brian Wilson and his band are in the midst of a world tour celebrating the 50th anniversary of the iconic Pet Sounds album. The source caught up with Matt Jardine at the Buffalo University Center for the Arts. So Matt, your dad Al Jardine is a co-founder of the Beach Boys. What was that like growing up for you? What was it like growing up for me? Um, it was different. It was, I would go to public school in a, a really small town area called Big Sur, California. Um, so I'd be cleaning horse stalls on the weekends on one weekend, and then I'd be flying out to New York City the next weekend. So it was, it was uh, a not a normal childhood, being a regular kid and having a regular type of life, uh, going to public school with normal people, and then being in a very abnormal situation on the other side of things where you see your dad being treated differently and you see the people around your my, my dad that are being treated differently. And it's almost like you had to kind of do a little flip-flop in your mind and say, okay, I'm out here and this is how this is here, but this is completely not normal or real. And when I go home, then I have to flip back into reality. <laughs> started out assisting with the band's management on the road and then you kind of transitioned into vocalists? I did. I did. It was uh, an awful, awful time. I, it was I, I, it's just terrifying. It's literally just being pushed to your limit. Um, I, I went out on the road. I had been doing that through high school during their heaviest summer touring. Uh, when I wasn't in school, I'd go out and I would help with bags. I would help with uh, transportation, anything that they needed um, to just help keep the tour moving. And that was my gig for like three years in the early 80s, early to mid 80s, and I went to college and um, uh, needed money after a while, so called up, got my gig back, and then it just so happened that people started getting tired, and that's how I got into it. You know, you, I, I need you to come up on stage, do percussion, or come up on stage and sing these parts. And I was, I had a natural ear uh, and could sing, but I'd never done it professionally. So uh, having to learn in front of thousands of people every night was, was a dream for some, but for me it was not because... Because you're handling the falsetto vocals. Did that come naturally or was that something you kind of worked to practice at? And... I wasn't doing that initially. I was singing more in the lower registers around where Carl and, and my dad are, but, but still just blending and singing the right parts and singing correctly and learning to use a monitor on stage and, and all those little things I had to learn in front of thousands of people every night. You know, and, and, and having the Beach Boys down on the front line in front of you looking over and expecting... Not intimidating you. at all. <laughs> no, no. Piece, piece of cake, you know. Of course. So it, it was terrifying. It was absolutely terrifying. And speaking of working with great talent, what's it like working with Brian at this point in his life and his career? It's fantastic. Um, he is... Um, he's just a man who is full of music and love and... Uh, like everyone that's out here, I mean, we tour like madmen, and part of the reason we're here is just because we enjoy the camaraderie. It's like a big team. And you're know? with your dad too. What's it like now in comparison touring with him present day, and how it was like before? Um, I think we've both settled over the years into our kind of, uh, you know, we're older, wiser. It was fun back then in the 90s when I was with the Beach Boys and now that I'm with Brian and Dad, I'm, I'm, I feel like I've settled more into a really kind of a support role with the, both of them. 
because if dad needs me to sing on something, if his voice is tired, I can, I can cover him. And if Brian needs me to sing on something, I can cover him. And I'm kind of there as kind of, I, I definitely have a role above and beyond that, but if I have to, I can be a safety net too, which is great. And, and I enjoy that role. It's, it's, it's rewarding. Reporting for The Source, I'm Bianca Tamori.